You can stream Clash of Streamers directly from your mobile device by using the Go Live building. You can find the Go Live building in the top left of your main menu, tap to open, and then select the second Go Live tab. This allows you to live stream from your device directly to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or any other platform that allows streaming. To see other platforms such as TikTok, use the other button in the bottom right corner and then scroll to find your entry or use the custom option at the top. You'll need to enter the RTMP link and the stream key and you can use any of the buttons to find information on where to find these links. When you go live from within the game, you're able to change your stream title and category using the stream tools tab on the left side. You can change the title by typing in the title input field, change the category by tapping on this category, and then select whichever one applies. You can also change the language and screen friendly option as well as the tap effect that you see in the main menu. So when tapping, you will have a different effect that your viewers will see. If you stream from within the game, we have the options to use webcam and voice filters. If you rather use any of these filters or voice changers instead of using your real face and real voice. When you go live, you also have the option to disable microphone or disable camera as well as go full screen camera. Another option to stream class or streamers is using the OBS link that you can see here in the bottom right corner. You can copy this link and then use OBS browser source to stream your gameplay directly via OBS. A third option then would be to play class of streamers using BlueStacks emulator on your PC and use window capture to capture the game screen. While streaming, we have integrated alerts that you can view at the bottom whenever people follow you, sub you, and so on. To change these alerts, you want to scroll down in the tabs in the Go Live menu to the very bottom use the alerts tab and here you can enable or disable any alerts as well as change the themes, goals, launch the event lists and many other options. The very bottom tab allows you to view statistics for your connected social media accounts such as players who have started watching, followers, subs and other stats. 